Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about what I want in New Horizons in 2021. So we are coming up on the yearly anniversary of New Horizons release. It's been one heck of a year but we're <laughs> finally getting to it and they have of course added some of the features already, like if I made this video earlier when the game had come out, I wouldn't have some of the things to say, like there's obviously the added dream suite, we saw recent Cyrus, and a lot of the other things, they, they're going to be releasing the Sanrio villagers, which was definitely on my list of stuff to add it back, but you know what, we haven't gotten everything, so I wanted to go over some of the things I have yet to hear about or I don't know if they'll ever happen. Some of these things I'm like, yeah, they're, they're probably not going to do this again. But yeah, let's get into some of these things at least. I don't really have an order. Of course, there is one thing that you'll be like, okay, that's definitely what she wants the most. When you hear it, you'll know. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so one thing I actually would like to see come back in some form would be the mini game island, like with Captain and stuff. I know there was there was some kind of island I feel like in GameCube, but I didn't play the GameCube version. I started with Wild World, and I never played City Folk either. So that's why I'm like, hey, no City Folk <laughs> right? No, yeah, I never played City Folk, so I don't know what kind of features were included in City Folk and the GameCube Animal Crossing. But in New Leaf, you could go to an island and have different villagers, and you can play like hide and go seek, and ooh, there was a couple of other different mini games. And yeah, Tor Timer was there. <laughs> Where is Tor Timer? Is he dead? But yeah, that is one of the things I do kind of miss, because like, oh, if you were kind of like bored and wanted to just play some mini games. You could invite your friends. You could all go to the island. It was really fun. And yeah, I would really like to see that included because with the updated multiplayer features, I do think it'd be really fun to go through those events again and all those little cute games. But yeah, like New Horizons, let's see it. The likelihood of it happening, I'm I wouldn't say it's like off the table. Like I feel like I could definitely see them including that at some point. But yeah, that's one thing. Another thing I would like to see is more collabs and the return of some of the collabs that we saw in past games. Like I know there was the Splatoon, which I would think would probably, like there's a chance of the Splatoon crossover is coming back because I believe Splatoon 3 is coming out. So yeah, I would hope, I would, I would assume, but then again, like I didn't think they were actually going to bring the Sanrio characters back for Pocket Camp, but then they announced them for Pocket Camp and now they're announced for New Horizons. So well, when I heard they were re, like re-releasing the cards, I'm like, yeah, they're probably definitely going to re-release like the items. Except I wanted more pocket camp items. That's gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna talk about that later. But yeah, more crossovers and collabs. Definitely, I feel like Pokemon would be like a brain, no brainer. But I think there was like the 7 Eleven. There was like, there was a couple different like collabs. Like there was 7 Eleven, and then there was, I think it was like a makeup company. There's this Holden, he's this yellow hamster if you look him up, he's kind of weird looking. Yeah, he was kind of like a mascot character for that makeup brand, I think. But that, yeah, that those collab items are some of my favorites. And yeah, I would, re I would hope they like maybe bring some of those characters back or just, you know, new collabs, like. All right, I already said Pokemon, which another one? I, okay, one that I definitely don't think is gonna happen, but I would be so happy if it happened, was if there was the Sylvanian families slash <laughs> Animal Crossing crossover. Like Sylvan Sylvanian families slash Calico Critters are, are my life, and they would fit the Animal Crossing world so well. 
They are cottagecore, they are beautiful, they are a solid 10 out of 10. And I would I would love to see this, some of those characters in game, but I, I know that's like a dream. They are popular in Japan because they started in Japan in 1985, and then they moved over to the UK and the US, and they're still known in the US as Calico Critters, but they're the exact same thing. I used to work at a toy store, so I have all this Sylvanian family's Calico Critter history. But yeah, that's like my dream collab. That's my ultimate collab. <laughs> I would be so happy if that if that happened. <laughs> number three, which hey, these these aren't in order, but a hey, number three, <laughs> we are going to be talking about, I guess, landscaping, kind of more design slots, all of that. I'm gonna bunch together because these are pretty obvious and pretty, I think, simple, easy changes. So I would really like more design slots. I know I'm not alone on this. I like really want more design slots because with all the things you can do with des the design slots, they fill up real fast. So I think we need enough. Like they upgraded our storage and it was like no big deal. But now like they're dragging their feet. Like what? come on guys, let us, let us have more designs. And to go along with that, I would also like flower pots for flowers not those like the little vases you get i saw somebody follow on tumblr and now twitter posted this beautiful like pot kind of hack for flowers and it was it was just beautiful it was like an edit where all the flowers were back in like i think in new leaf they were in like baskets and stuff i would be like i love the baskets the only thing i didn't like was the lily of the valley flower which you can't even put up in your house, which is kind of like, what? <laughs> so yeah, I would really like to be able to, one, present the Lily of the Valley, and two, I think it would look really nice in a little glass vase. I just want more plant furniture in general. That's the thing. There's a lot of old furniture from New Leaf that I miss, and plants are one of them. Like, bring back the plants. And just kind of to steamroll off of that, I would also like furniture from New Leaf and Pocket Camp. Okay, so like one of the only things I feel like Pocket Camp had going for it was this adorable furniture. And I was like, oh, this has very high, high hopes for the new game. This means the new game's going to have cute furniture. And they just flat out. Well, I, some of the sets are cute, but... I really have been missing a lot of the old furniture from New Leaf, like R.I.P. New Leaf Furniture, let me get back the sloppy set. They, surprisingly, they got rid of the lovely set, you know, the pink, pink lovely set. I'm like, what? That's, cause I'm pretty sure lovely set's been in every single, like, every single Animal Crossing game. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong about that. Don't quote me on that, y'all. But yeah, it's so upsetting that some of the sets got axed, <laughs> and I don't know if they're gonna come back or not. Like, I'm, I'm really sad, guys. Like, uh, bring, bring me back the sloppy set, the princess set, the Rococo set. Like, oh my god. What, why don't we have that? What are we waiting for? <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't know if they're going to ever come back. I don't have any faith in maybe that they might come back, unfortunately. Another thing kind of piggybacking off of that actually is the lack of ceiling items. So ceiling items are not actually new to Animal Crossing. They were in a spin-off game called Happy Home Designer, which I, I played. I love. I love interior design, yo. Interior design is my fashion. Yeah, but they... Uh, so... When they added, like, fences outside, I assumed that they were gonna take more aspects from Happy Home Designer, including ceiling stuff. And there was this really pretty ceiling stained glass lamp that I used in, like, so many of my projects. It's freaking gorgeous, and I love it. And I thought it was gonna be in New Horizons, and it's not in New Horizons. And I'm like, why? I forget if you can do ceiling stuff in pocket camp because I haven't played pocket camp in a long time but yeah I wanted I wanted ceiling stuff that's just a little nitpick though a little nitpick and moving on in general I just would like just like little 
little quality of life kind of updates, like buying in bulk. I never buy Nook Pile tickets singularly, like I always want to buy a whole bunch of them, and I can't buy them in bulk. There's also crafting in bulk, there's also buying like at Able Sisters in bulk, like let us bulk buy. <laughs> I am a collector, I need more items. Please let me buy in bulk, like I want to buy all the colorways of this dress, Mabel. Oh, cannot. I cannot buy all the colorways of this dress. So yeah, that's, that's a little, little quality of life one. I would like definitely more, more uh, the ability to buy in bulk, please. Just let me do that. <laughs> Can we? Thank you. And I believe we are on the last thing, and this one's kind of, this one's kind of the biggest. Bring back the NPCs. Specifically Brewster. <laughs> I want Brewster back, like, so much. Like, he is all I want in this world. Like, I have a whole cafe area just waiting for you, Brewster. Or you could go back in the museum. I... That would encourage me to actually visit the museum. <laughs> like, please, please, man, please just bring Brewster back. Like, they brought Reese and Cyrus back for, like, an event. And then they left again. But I'm hoping they don't do that for Brewster. Like, I want him officially in the town. He's been a character in all the other games. And, like, I don't know why he's not in New Horizons. Like, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, he's been in all the other games. He's our pigeon dad. Like, I, I don't understand. Are they I think what they're waiting to do is they're going to introduce, I feel like, Gyroids and Brewster at the exact same time. And it's just, I, I feel like they're definitely going to do it. I just don't know when, and that's <laughs> extremely frustrating. I'm just like, what? come on, guys. Like, wh why are you waiting? Why are you holding out on us? Hopefully, it'll be... I don't know what they're going to be doing for the exact, like, one-year release. Brewster would be a nice gift, I'm just saying. But I don't know if we're going to have, like, an actual big update or if we're just going to do, like, little town celebration, maybe, like, an exclusive item or two. For like the the year anniversary, but yeah, that's I'm kind of just like speculating on that. <laughs> My hope is for Brewster or one of the other NPCs that we lost, <laughs> but I I, I don't want to get my hopes up because then I know once I do once I have those hopes up, bam, they can come crashing down. But yeah, I think that is everything that I want for New Horizons in 2021. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you got this far, please comment. What what else do you, what do you want? What do you want, guys? I'm curious to know what other people want about new in New Horizons, and because we all play the game pretty differently. I'm just let me know. Just curious. Let me know, guys. And that should do it for today's video. If you like my content, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. I would really appreciate it. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>